my dear children in the last episode you saw the usage of present tense and its parts like indefinite and present continuous tense etc and today we shall do the other tenses but before we move on further we shall do a small exercise in order to link ourselves to the module so far vidyarthiyon pichle episode de vich tusi vekhya ki kis tarah present indefinite ate present continuous tense di varto karni hai ate aj assi ho tenses bare janange par is part vich agge vadan to pehla sanu hun tak de module nal judan de layi ek choti ji hi exercise karni hovegi the workers dash the wall the workers are painting the wall seema dash the clothes seema is washing the clothes i have just dash the class i have just entered the class diana dash already dash the stage diana has already reached the stage now we shall do present perfect continuous tense this tense is used to denote an action that began in the past and is continuing up to the present hun assi present perfect continuous tense bare janange is tense di varto us samay kiti jandi hai jado koi kam past vich shuru hoya hove ate hun maujuda samay vi ho reha hove it has been raining since evening we have been studying in the school since 1999 he has been painting a picture since diwali shukla has been planning to make a film since his youth students present perfect continuous tells us the duration from the past until now we use the present perfect continuous to show that something started in the past and has continued until now assi present perfect continuous tense di varto us samay karde ha jado koi kam past vich shuru hoya hove ate hun maujuda samay vi lagatar ho reha hove for 5 minutes for 2 weeks and since tuesday are all durations which can be used with a present perfect continuous examples they have been talking for the last hour sheila has been working at that company for 3 years what have you been doing for the last 30 minutes james has been teaching at the university since june we have been waiting here for over 2 hours why has nancy not been taking her medicine for the last 3 days past present as you can see that this tense is used when an action begins in the past and has been continuing up to now in the present jive ki tusi vekh sakde ho ki is tense di varto udo kiti gayi hai jado ki kam beete samay vich shuru hoya hai ate hun present vich vi chal raha hai and now let us do past indefinite tense how do we form the past indefinite tense we use the second form of the verb positive sentences he opened the door i bought a pen negative sentence you didn't break the glass interrogative sentence did ram go to school past indefinite we present indefinite devang 
ਆਦਤ ਨੂੰ ਦਰਸਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਈ ਫੇਲਡ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਨੇਵਰ ਸੈਲਡਮ ਡੇਲੀ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਯੂਜੂਅਲੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਨਿਸ਼ਚਿਤ ਕਾਲੀਨ ਪੂਤਕਾਲ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰਯੋਗ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਕੇਵਲ ਉਦੋਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਅਜਿਹੀ ਆਦਤ ਦਰਸਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤਾਂ ਸੀ ਹੁਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਫੇਅਰਡ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਜਸਟ ਜਸਟ ਨਾਓ ਐਟ ਐਵਰ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਸਟ ਇਨਡੈਫੀਨਿਟ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਯੋਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਈ ਕੇਮ ਜਸਟ ਨਾਓ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਰੋਂਗ I have come just now last past ago before yesterday than de nal anishchit kalin pood kal da prayog hovega jive i have come yesterday i came yesterday the past indefinite tense denotes actions or happenings that took place in the past past indefinite tense us karaj ja katna bare dasda hai jeda ja jedi beete samay vich hoyi hai my friend has lived in the usa since 1974 my friend lived in the usa the first sentence shows that my friend is still in the usa the second sentence shows that my friend is not in the usa put the verb in brackets in the correct form making them past indefinite tense to help you more try this exercise go went watch watched sit sat look looked eat eight do did sleep slept take took stay stayed arrive arrived the children to go to school in the morning the children dash to school in the morning went their father to take them to school their father dash them to school took mrs smith usually to stay at home mrs smith usually dash at home stayed she to do the housework she dash the housework did she always eat her lunch at noon she always dash her lunch at noon eight mr smith to arrive home late mr smith dash home late arrived in the evening the children always to do their homework in the evening the children always dash their homework did sometimes mr and mrs smith to watch television sometimes mr and mrs smith dash television watched Let us take a past continuous tense. How do we use the past continuous tense? The past continuous tense 
expresses an action at a particular moment in the past. The action started before that moment but has not finished at that moment. Ao hun past continuous tense nu leye. Asi past continuous tense di varto kis tarah karde ha? Past continuous tense बीते समय विच एक खास मोमेंट ते होन वाले कारज बारे दसता है जेड़ा की उस पास्ट मोमेंट तो पहला शुरू होया सी अते हुन तक भी खतम नहीं होया है फॉर एग्जांपल Yesterday I watched a film on TV. The film started at 7 p.m. and finished at 9 p.m. The next day, if you want to tell what you were doing at 8 p.m. yesterday, so you would say, at 8 p.m. yesterday, I was watching TV or at 8 p.m., I was in the middle of watching TV. When we use the past continuous tense, our listener usually knows or understands what time we are talking about. Jado asi past continuous tense di varto karde ha, ta saade listener aam taur te jande han, ja samajde han ki asi kis samay de baare vich gal kar rahe ha. Look at these examples. I was working at 10 p.m. Last night, they were not playing football at 9 a.m. this morning. She was cooking when I telephoned her. We were having dinner when it started to rain. Some verbs cannot be used in continuous progressive tenses we often use the past continuous tense to set the scene in stories we use it to describe the background situation at the moment when the action begins often the story starts with the past continuous tense and then moves into the simple past tense asi aksar hi kahaniyan de vich scene set karan layi Past continuous tense di varto kar de haan. Asi ik samay te pichho kar te chaat maran lai is di varto kar de haan. Jado karaj shuru hunda hai. Aksar hi kahaniya past continuous tense te naal shuru hundiya haan. Ate fir simple past tense te wal vad jandiya haan. Here is an example. James Bond was driving through the town. It was raining. The wind was blowing hard. Nobody was walking in the streets. Suddenly, Bond saw the killer in a telephone box. Past continuous tense plus simple past tense. We often use the past continuous tense with the simple past tense. We use the past continuous tense to express a long action. And we use the simple past tense to express a short action that happens in the middle of the long action. We can join the two ideas with when or while. Asi aksar hi simple past tense de naal 
ਪਾਸਟ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਅਸ ਟੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਾਸਟ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਅਸ ਟੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਲੰਮੇ ਕਾਰਜ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਗਟਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਪਾਸਟ ਟੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਛੋਟੇ ਕਾਰਜ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣ ਲਈ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੈਨ ਜਾਂ ਵਾਇਲ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਨ ਥੀਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਲੌਂਗ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸਡ ਵਿਦ ਪਾਸਟ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਅਸ ਟੈਂਸ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਟੀਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ expressed with simple past tense telephone for example i was watching tv at 8 pm long action you telephoned at 8 pm short action we can join these two actions with when i was watching tv when you telephoned notice that when you telephoned is also a way of defining the time 8 pm when plus short action simple past tense while plus long action past continuous tense students There are four basic combinations. I was walking past the car when it exploded. When the car exploded, I was walking past it. the car exploded while i was walking past it while i was walking past the car it exploded notice that the long action and short action are relative watching tv took a few hours telephoned took a few seconds walking past the car took a few seconds using the past perfect look at the sentences which happened first We all felt so sick. We took strange medicine. We can only assume that the people in this situation first felt sick and then took strange medicine. However, grammar can make these situations very clear. It is called the past perfect. You probably know what perfect means. 100% pure no problems however in english grammar the word perfect means past whenever you see the word perfect referring to english grammar just say past therefore the past perfect means past past this is exactly what the past perfect means the past past 
in other words it is an action that happened and finished before another action in the past look at the timeline here i ate a big breakfast i went to school now 7:30 am 8 am what happened first what happened second first i ate breakfast second i went to school students remember that both of these activities happened in the past however one happened before the other here is a common way to write or say these two actions using the past perfect before i went to school I had eaten a big breakfast or after I had eaten breakfast I went to school What do you notice about the past perfect First you should have noticed that the past perfect is the action that is had eaten a big breakfast that happened before the other action in the past that is went to school here is another timeline look at the timeline and make a sentence with the past perfect and by using the word before Sam cooked dinner at 1:30 p.m. Carol got home at 3 p.m. Now first Sam cooked dinner second Carol got home therefore the answer is Before Carol got home Sam had already cooked dinner Note the past participle of cook is cooked which is the same as the simple past cooked using the word after you can write in this way after sam had cooked dinner carol got home now look at these sentences We all felt so sick. We took strange medicine. Which happened first? The answer is we don't know. The writer of these two sentences did not use the past perfect. As far as we know, these two events could have happened at the same time. Now, you know why using the past perfect is so important. This is how we do it. Look at the sentences again and this time with past perfect tense. I went to see the movie. 
we had discussed it in the class. Here, we know that the discussion took place first, even though the sentence describing it comes afterwards. We discussed the movie and then I went to see it. This can be very useful when you are telling a story or relating a sequence of events. At any point in your story, you can jump back to a previous event and your reader will not be confused because the past perfect will make it clear that the event happened previously. Ithe sanu pata hai ki vichar vatandra pehla hoya hai. Paave ki vaak pehla e das reha hai ki asi movie vekhi hai. Asi movie te vichar vatandra kita ate fir mein isnu vekhan lai gaya. E us samay bohat hi labdai kho sakda hai jado tusi kahani suna rahe ho wo jaan events di sequence bana rahe ho wo. Kahani vich kise bhi point te tusi apni pehli event te फिर जा सकते हो अते तुआडे पाठक नु कोई भी पुलेखा भी नहीं पवेगा क्योंकि पास्ट परफेक्ट इस नु स्पष्ट कर देवेगा कि ए इवेंट पहला होया है हियर इज अनदर एग्जांपल फर्स्ट एक्शन इन पास्ट परफेक्ट एंड सब्सिक्वेंट एक्शन इन सिंपल पास्ट फर्स्ट वी एट एट द कैफेटेरिया देन we went to the class. After we had eaten at the cafeteria, we went to the class. First, Juan made himself a sandwich. Then he poured some tea. After Juan had made himself a sandwich, he poured some tea. First, Gunawan plugged in the headphones. Then he played a CD. Before he played a CD, Gunawan had plugged in the headphones. First, Soria fed the cat. Then she called her mother. Soria called her mother after she had fed the cat. Had fed. First, Mary did her homework. Then she watched TV. Mary had done her homework before she watched TV. Students, I hope you had fun learning the use of tenses. I will see you next time with another topic. Till then, goodbye.